An important question is, what gives your life meaning? There is a tipping point where more medical care for these patients is not better medical care. And for them to be spending more of their time doing the things they love, being with their families and their loved ones, having a good quality of life, not going from doctor to doctor, appointment to appointment, test to test. And pretty soon, medical care can take over these patients' lives. Doctors often miss that. They don't see the person. They see the diagnosis. They see the chart. Um, what I saw were people who were suffering because of their medical care, not getting better because of their medical care, but their medical care was causing them more suffering. So with palliative care, I wanted to help these patients to live their lives and, and not be professional patients. There's almost a straight line from Agent Orange during my time in Vietnam to prostate cancer. I didn't know it was called palliative care at the time, but I've learned that since. Like in March of 2016, maybe, um, uh, infection. Holly came up to visit, as a good doctor would do. I said, yeah, let's do it. Let's, uh, you know, I'm all screwed up, so let's see what we can, what we can do to figure this out. She was able to pull together a, a massive team of really good doctors. That nine weeks that I was in there, getting all of that help, uh, uh, it saved my life. My wife Bonnie's convinced of that, I'm convinced of that. If I hadn't had the opportunity to get all of that intensive care in a, in a fairly short period of time, get stuff taken care of, I, I wouldn't be here talking to you today, I don't think. Helping somebody on a journey, moving from feeling fearful uh, or frustrated or confused, to feeling empowered, to understanding what their choices are, making informed choices that help them to live a life that um, is consistent with their values and helps them to achieve their goals.